Red Dead Redemption 1 Online is not only still alive, it's actually pretty active. I mean, take a look at this. 15 players in a lobby. For comparison, there are 12 people maximum in most of my Red Dead Redemption 2 Online lobbies. And yeah, I'm not saying that Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer has more players than Red Dead Online, because 15 is a maximum amount of players I've seen. Usually there were 6 to 10 players, sometimes 12, 14. But it's still really impressive for a game that was released 14 years ago, which makes it older than average GTA Online player, by the way. Plus, for many, many years, this game was completely abandoned, but people are still playing it. And not only because in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer you can play as John Marston, or Dutch, or Zombie Landon Ricketts, or which is even more creepy as Abigail, but also because of this game is kind of fun. Really, really simple comparing to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, but still fun. That's why it's really unfortunate that multiplayer is not included in PlayStation 4 version of Red Dead Redemption 1 and will not be included in PC version. It's only available on Xboxes and on PlayStation 3. For example, I was playing it on Xbox Series X via backwards compatibility. Anyway, in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer, you don't create your own character. Instead, you can choose pretty much any character from Red Dead Redemption 1 story, Undead Nightmare or even from Red Dead Revolver. Some characters you unlock by leveling up and some are available only in paid DLCs, which were already included in my version of the game since I bought it only in 2022. In my opinion, this aspect is where Red Dead Online failed comparing to Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer. Because being able to play as a character from story is really, really cool. It's a fun service made right. But you might say, well, in Red Dead Online you can purchase Arthur Morgan's or John Marston's outfits for 52 gold bars. So this game also has a fun service, but no, it's not even close, because playing as John Marston is a completely different story than just wearing his outfit. I actually think that Red Dead Online should have had both character creation to create your custom character and ability to play as one of the characters from a story. Another cool thing about this system is that it gives you a reason to level up. You want to level up to unlock certain characters. But it's not the only reason to level up. There are other rewards that we're gonna talk about after hearing the word from today's sponsor. Long time looking for a cool server in GTA 5 RP, then I have a great news for you. Grand Roleplay, this is the best choice developed system of factions, a huge fleet of cars, a bunch of cool clothes, all this is collected here. The most important plus, you can start playing for free, literally in a couple of clicks. Just follow the link in the description to the project website, fill all the fields and create your character. It's important to register through the site, because of this way you can get one of three premium cars to choose from at the beginning. Or you can register directly in the game, it's also easy. The main thing is to not forget to enter my ID in a special field, which will give you a nice bonus of game currency and VIP status for easy start. Also, there is a new battle pass on the server, which opens access to exclusive rewards and content, making the game even more exciting. But that's not all, especially for those who do not like to sit long at the PC, a mobile version of the game was released. This is a real analog of GTA 5 in your phone. Do not forget to enter my promo code CAT, which will immediately give one of the rare items, which will definitely help not to die of boredom at the beginning of the game. So don't miss your chance. Register or get bonuses and enjoy the game, both on PC and your phone. We are waiting for you. So next important things players can unlock by leveling up are mounts, titles and weapons. As for mounts, on the first level you are getting Saddle Donkey, which is pretty cool. Well, technically it's a mule, but it looks like Donkey. Unfortunately, it runs out of stamina pretty fast, but by leveling up you can unlock different horses and even buffalo or zebra. And again, I wish it was possible to purchase at least a rideable Donkey with a saddle in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Then there are different titles that will appear above the player's account name, it's just another way of personalization. And one of the most important reasons to level up is better weapons, because you can find some cool weapons and pick them up, like a mouse or pistol, but you cannot keep them forever, so you need to unlock them by leveling up. Anyway, now let's talk about another big difference between Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer. I'm talking about different types of lobbies. There are normal lobbies, where players can kill other players, so it's full PvP. They are most popular, by the way. Friendly lobbies, where PvP is disabled. 
they are less popular and most of the time I saw only 3-4 other players in such lobbies. Maximum 9 players in a lobby. And hardcore lobbies with free aim, but I've never seen any other player in such lobby. It's also possible to create a private lobby to which you can invite your friends and just enjoy the content without being distracted by other players. And do I even need to mention that all these types of lobbies should have been added to Red Dead Redemption 2 online as well. I mean, many players would gladly play in friendly or invite-only lobbies, even if some activities were not available there, like long-distance trader deliveries, for example. And there are other players who are asking for hardcore lobbies without tonics, the die or auto-aim. But for some reason, Rockstar decided to make only normal lobbies for Red Dead Online, completely ignoring big part of the community. But anyway, what players can even do in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer? Two things. PvE, fighting NPCs, or PvP, fighting other players players. Let's begin with PvP because it's kinda similar to what we have in Red Dead Online. You can kill other players in a free roam and even get some experience for doing this, or go to competitive modes which by the way nowadays are completely abandoned. Multiple times I tried to find a match but no other players were joining. I actually think that in the future it will be exactly the same in Red Dead Online. Like there will be always players in a free roam but PvP modes will be completely abandoned. Anyway, PvP itself is fun. Time to kill is much lower because if there are no tonics or ability cards, but obviously it's much more simple because Red Dead Redemption 1 has outdated combat mechanics comparing to Red Dead Redemption 2. And also there is a problem with cheaters, I've seen them multiple times. But still I think that PvP is the main reason why many high levels are still playing this game. And yes, maximum level in multiplayer is 50. But now let's talk about PvE. It's actually much more simple than in Red Dead Online, because all players can do is cleaning gang hideouts, completing hunting ground events and completing different challenges, which are similar to awards in Red Dead Online. Gang hideouts are a bit similar to what we have in Red Dead Online, so you basically need to kill a lot of bandits, but there are some mini bosses at the end that throw dynamite or fire bottles, and sometimes you need to complete a small task. So overall these missions are really simple, but still completing them solo might be challenging sometimes because there are no tonics, no ability cards and enemies actually killing you much faster than in Red Dead Online, so you have to be careful. But sometimes other players will join and help you to kill the bandits, especially in friendly lobbies. By the way, after completing some gang hideouts, you will find an explosive ammo with 4 bullets and it's a really OP weapon in this game. As for hunting grounds, it's pretty much the same, but instead of bandits you are killing animals and then there is a mini boss. Usually they are less challenging than gang hideouts except for the one with cougars. That one was a nightmare because cougars are even more annoying than in Red Dead Redemption 2. Actually there is another activity, you can play poker or dice, but unfortunately I failed to find other players here as well. So overall PvE in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer is really simple and pretty repetitive, but could be fun to do with friends. Now a few words about overall vibe and immersion. Obviously it's uncomparable to Red Dead Online, but the game still looks fine, and it has Mexico, which is really cool. I also like that other players in your lobby can be seen on the map. Game feels less empty this way, because in Red Dead Online, unless you will go to Valentine or make a long distance delivery, you will probably not meet any other players. I mean, I made a level 1 to level 100 playthrough recently, and during 22 hours of a playtime, I saw only 10 people in a free room. So it's necessary to open open a player's list to know that you are not playing in a solo lobby. And in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer you immediately see that there are some other players or maybe a lot of other players in the same lobby. I know it's a small detail, but still. And yes, in Red Dead Online beta all players were visible on the map, but then Rockstar decided to change it to decrease amount of griefing. But you know what, they should have added friendly and invite only lobbies instead. So in conclusion, Red Dead Redemption 1 Online is still surprisingly active people are still playing it, mostly because of nostalgia I guess, although some players might still be playing because of PvP and because they enjoy overall simplicity of this game. But anyway, I don't think it can compete with Red Dead Online, but it's still a fun game, a fun way to spend few hours, especially with your friends. So I think Rockstar should have made this multiplayer mode available for PlayStation 4 and PC versions of the game, just like they should have copy-pasted many good ideas from Red 
Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer to Red Dead Online. But they never did and now Red Dead Online is almost dead. By the way, if you wanna find out about the full story of Red Dead Online, I suggest you to go and check the video that you can see on your screen now. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.